Coogan Cash this IFL TV in association with Macklin's Gym Bar. We're in Sheffield here today. With me, I've got European champ. Yeah, man. Gav, big twin. Big twin. Big twin, yeah. Why are you call that again? Somebody set it up for me eight years ago. And I don't know. No, it's just twenty is in twin, brother. Twenty, yeah. Big twenty. Someone did it for me, like, and obviously now we should have set one up. Is that your street I've name? I've got no street name, have I? You know when you're not a boxer and you're going around looting around Doncaster, is that what they call you? No. It's Big 20 on big, his way. I'm known as the Big 20, Anna. Yeah, the Big 20. Um, first of all, good weekend, great weekend in Corpus Christi yeah, yeah. Uh, for your brother. And he was obviously part of there, he meant to be fighting in Leeds, but family comes first, so... Yeah, uh, we went out there, obviously, because my, my brother's fight. Um, I'll aim and give up the date, and obviously we've got to, we've got to go without mine. With being in match room, obviously we could we could switch dates, so that's what happened. Mine, mine got moved. Um, when we were over there on Saturday night, though, our kid had weighed in and had a little bit of a gutted, gutted feeling. You know what I mean? Around about seven o'clock there or there, I thought, well, I'd be fighting now. So a bit gutted, but it's one of them things. You know what I mean? We we got to take positives from negatives, and it gives me a longer camp. We. Uh, I just moved to Dave Caldwell, so it gives me more time to work on things, get in better shape. Um, and obviously it's nice to be part of another one of Kel's fights. Obviously, opponent stays the same in uh, Jeremy Parody, so uh, come 24th you'll be more than prepared. Yeah, um, obviously he's that same amount of time. We're both going to be in great shape. Um, it's going to make for a great fight, I mean, he's got... Uh, experience over me, do you know what I mean? I'm champion, but he's got all the fights, all the experience. Um, he probably thinks he's going to come and upset upset the apple cart, but um, I know for a fact I'm going to beat him, do you know what I mean? There's nobody going to beat me, do you know what I mean? Uh, I know what I want and, and how to get it. British title, European title. It's a case of really just seeing how far you can go and seeing yeah. how good you really are, Gavin. Yeah, I mean, I'm a work in progress. I, I generally believe I don't even got going, and uh, that's hand on me out. Like, do you know what I mean, I know for a fact um, the things I'm doing now. Um, do you know what I mean? You're going to see. You might, you might not see it in the next fight, but I think in the next couple of fights, I'm going to, I'm going to be a um, force to be reckoned with. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm willing to improve and putting the work in. Um, I generally believe I'm going to be a, a world champion in due time. Uh, we just need the right fights at the right time and uh, I'll do my job and obviously Eddie and Matchroom will do theirs. Absolutely. But um, I mean, listen to your brother talking in the press conference there and you know, obviously fully supportive of you and the time in which he's been pro to what you've been in six years' time, who knows what you would have achieved. Well, I believe if I were, um, if I had turned pro the same time as him, We'll be two, two, two twins. We'll, we'll be uh, achieve similar sort of things. Uh, obviously, um, his win in, in Europe, um, in France, obviously uh, inspired me to put the gloves on, and uh, I, I think it, it benefits me in a way because I've got all my, my, my young lad days out of way. I mean, I'm a family man now. Uh, I know what I want. Uh, boxing's, uh, me, you know what I mean. My me, me main goal, uh, everything I do is boxing, and. Uh, and 100% focused. All right. And if he comes up to Super Bantam, got he's a problem there. Yeah? If he comes up, he's getting it. <laughs> we have Bantam, what have you. We can, we can we had about it. this conversation after, yeah, we after had a, the Sunday night. Yeah, Texas it comes Epics. up. It comes up uh, every now and again. Um, obviously, we never fight each other, but we like to have a little bit of banter and just get get people thinking. Well, maybe they could. Um, but um, as it stands, you know what I mean. I, I, I'll admit, I could uh, his levels above me. You know what I mean. I mean, I can give him a good, good pacing for a round or two in gym. Um, but if he really wants to, you know what I mean. He, he's 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 got the experience. You know what I mean. He, he's a better fighter. He's world champion for a reason. Um, but by the time I finish my career, you know what I mean. I want to be a level pegging, or even outdone him. Who knows? Who wins in a straight fight between the pair of you? Well, that's a different story, obviously, me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Hands down. He'll, he'll probably admit that to you, but probably not on camera. But I'll smash him in a street fight. Well, if you ever need someone to film that... I don't think we'll need that, like, you know what I mean? He's, he's wise, our kid. He'd be, be stupid to, to ever uh, give me grief.
<laughs> Gavin, thanks for talking to Eiffel TV and uh, no looking forward to catching up with you ahead of the 24th yeah, of October. Five weeks time, fight week. It's on. Jobs are good on. Thank right, you, mate. Cheers, nice mate. Fun. Thank you.